Hey guys, it's BT Gamer for 11 back with another video. This is going to be a Tariba wannabe unboxing video. I actually made a video of unboxing this stuff and my camera decided not to record it or the recent Pigos video that I did after it. So now I get to record them again. So it's already open, as you can tell. I'm just going to share with you what I got. But if you're interested in Tariba, check them out at Tariba.net. This video is in no way sponsored. I wish it was, but it's not. Uh, there's the website right there. And warning ahead of time, it can get addicting. I will admit, I am basically addicted to it, even though I have been very good the last couple weeks. So, But this is what I won this time around. Shipping, a lot of people will complain about shipping, but for me, it literally took them from the time I requested shipping at the most two weeks for the stuff to get to me and that's like most of the time it only took a week so I have no complaints at all it's coming all the way from Japan so you gotta take that in, into consideration alright so first thing I got were these two Donald Duck birth memorial 2018 little mascots and I don't know if you guys can see this but it tells you on their on their foot birth memorial mascot 2018 each one of these is actually different. They're not the same. There were four of these. The only difference between this one and this one uh, really is its beak. This one has an open beak and this one has a closed beak. You really probably can't tell from this video, but that's the difference. Then I got this little dude. He's called Rascal. And I thought he was bigger than this. He's basically a keychain size. But he's really cute and he also makes a noise. I was gonna say if I can get him to work. It's so cute. Like I think this is so adorable. Uh, yeah. So as you can tell, all this stuff comes from Japan. You can tell by the inside of this tag. Everything is in Japanese writing. So we got him. I really love him. I wish he was a little bit bigger. They do have a giant one, but it's harder to win, and I suck at those. Like they have different types of claw machines. If you guys want me to do like. Like a quick overview of Tariba, let me know and I'll do like a quick little video on that. But basically, there's different types of claw machines, and I only play the ones that I'm good at. <laughs> this is my favorite thing that I want. I'm gonna put this box down. And this is a Donald Duck book bag, and it's basically a square. It's a square book bag. It's got the basic book bag straps on the back there. And I love Donald Duck's face on this. That that that's that's me pretty much on a daily basis. <laughs> I love this thing. This is actually pretty big. And I was actually expecting this to be smaller. So this kind of makes up for the other stuff that I thought was a little bit bigger than what it was. Or larger, correct term. So uh, this is definitely my favorite out of the group. Donald Duck is my second favorite Disney character. If you guys can guess what my first Disney character is then you guys have probably been watching my videos for a while because I've mentioned it a lot. But Donald Duck is my second favorite and uh, so I was really happy to win this but I won this on a ping pong dropper and basically if you don't know on Tariva, on ping pong droppers if you get to the last ball and it runs out, I did not know this at the time. It ran out, I was playing it and I could not win it for the, for the life of me. Like literally there was like five ping pong balls and none of them would go in the little spot that's supposed to go in to win. It ran out of balls. So I'm sitting there waiting for them to restock the balls for 45 minutes because I thought I had to wait for them to restock the balls and able to try again to win. Uh, this is why you should you should read some of the terms and conditions before you do stuff. Because literally 45 minutes I was sitting there and then they finally restocked it. And it restocked it and when it came back on the screen I was ready to hit the button so nobody would jump in front of me. And it was a different one. It was a Mickey Mouse one and the thing was emptied and then like halfway full. Like, they put some balls in it. I don't know why. That's, like, the first time I ever saw them do that. But I was pissed. <laughs> I was like... Uh, and then nothing was in my cart or anything at this time. So I get off for about 10 minutes, and I go back on the website again, and all of a sudden this pops up in my cart saying I want it. So I go to check, like, the terms and conditions, and I see, like, ping pong dropper. And underneath that, if you read it, it tells you if you're the last one to get the last ball out of the machine and it doesn't go in the hole it's supposed to and the thing runs out of balls, 
then the last person that played it and got the last ball automatically wins. So that's what happened to me with this. And that actually happened again yesterday on another prize where somebody left two balls in there and it only took me three tries to win it. And it's a big plushie, so you'll see that in my next video. But uh, a lot of people don't know that. So if you play Tariba and you see a few balls left and nobody's playing it and you really want the prize, just go for it because even if the ball doesn't go where it's supposed to, you'll still win it if it runs out of balls. Just to be on the safe side though, I made sure that I kept the video up of the machine until they restocked it. Um, the second time, yesterday when I won it, just to make sure that they did it again and this wasn't like a mistake, and they did, they credited, they credited me for the win, and I won that on, I think it was four tries, two of which were free. So I ended up getting it for like four bucks. It was either three or four tries, but I ended up getting it for four bucks. I remember calculating it. And it's a big plushie. It's about that big. So I'm very, and I wanted it like really bad. So I'm very happy about that. So just a tip in the future. But yeah, that's the only thing I got from Chariba this time around. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description below. Again, if you want me to do a quick video on Chariba, let me know and I will. And I hope everybody has a great day. Please be compassionate to one another. And please, guys, hit, the, hit that subscribe button if you are interested in more videos. This channel is mainly a gaming channel. I also do videos on anxiety and random things that I get into. I consider it to reboot gaming because it is a crane game, which could be considered gaming. And it has gaming stuff in it, like I won Pikachu off of there. This, sleep, this was another ping pong ball dropper. But, uh, but yeah, if you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button. Also, please hit the notification bell as well. I don't do that many videos, so you guys are not going to get bombarded by pop-ups all the time for notifications. But because I'm such a small channel, most likely, unless you watch my videos a lot, you're not going to get notified when I post another video because I'm a smaller YouTuber, so it kind of like puts my videos below everybody else's. So if you hit the notification bell, you will definitely know when I upload a video, and then you guys can decide whether or not you want to watch that video or whether or not you don't. So. Please do that as well. I hope everybody has a great day. Be compassionate to one another and have a great day.